Good evening. Breaking news news headlines the 4th of December 2021. International news. US President Joe Biden has warned that he will not accept red lines set by Moscow as fears mount that Russia is planning an imminent invasion of Ukraine. The disappearance of a Malaysia Airlines flight, carrying 239 passengers and crew, is one of the world's biggest aviation mysteries. A British aeronautical engineer, who has spent more than a year working on the disaster, thinks he has calculated where MH370 crashed. Richard Godfrey believes the Boeing 777 crashed into the Indian Ocean, 2,000 kilometers west of Perth, Western Australia. The aircraft vanished from radar during a flight in March 2014. A volcano on the Indonesian island of Java, Mount Semeru, is erupting, sending a vast plume of ash into the sky and blanketing nearby villages. Residents flee. Reports BBC. National News, India's third case of Omicron detected in a Zimbabwe returnee in Gujarat. Two people had tested positive in Kenataka earlier this week. Chief Justice of India N. V. Romana says that courts should be last resort for dispute resolution. Coordinate, but don't step on state's toes, Amit Shah to a group of IPS probationers in Delhi. Reports Indian Express. Delhi Chief Minister and AAP Party National Convener, Arvind Kedri will promise to provide 300 units of free electricity to every household if his party comes to power in the state of Punjab next year. Reports New Indian Express. Passenger dies on board, US-bound Air India flight returns to Delhi. Starlink. The satellite internet division of billionaire Elon Musk's SpaceX rocket company will apply for a commercial license in India on or before the 31st of January 2022, its country director Sanjay Bhargava said in a LinkedIn post. This is the first statement by the company after India's warning not to start any services without any approval. If Starlink roll out its services by April 2022, it will have two lark Starlink devices in India by December 2022, out of which 80% will be in rural areas. Starlink has launched small satellites as part of a low-Earth orbit network to provide low-latency broadband internet services around the world. Its present competitor include Amazon's Kuiper and OneWeb, which is co-owned by the British government and Bharti Enterprises or Airtel of India. Starlink has already received over 5,000 pre-orders for its devices in India. It has not begun any services. Last month, the company registered a local unit named Starlink Satellite Communications Private Limited. This paved the way for it to begin doing business in India. Starlink charge a deposit of $99 or 7,350 rupees for customers. If the services are activated, the amount will be adjusted against the monthly fee. Reports NDTV. The Enforcement Directorate of India has arrested a chartered accountant for helping an accused to launder 1,100 rupees crore to Hong Kong by sending foreign outward remittances from Mumbai through banks. Reports India Today. Tamil Nadu News. A newborn girl was found dead in the flush tank of a toilet at the Tanjavur Medical College Hospital on Saturday. Three women medicos of Tirunelveli Government Medical College, who were returning home on a two-wheeler after their night duty, were hit by the car, and two of them died on the spot. Reports New Indian Express. Technology News. Genome editing, also called gene editing, is a group of technologies that give scientists the ability to change an organism's DNA. These technologies allow genetic material to be added, removed, or altered at particular locations in the genome. Several approaches to genome editing have been developed. Using this technique, UK scientists have developed female only or male only in mice, as per our dictate. Amazing technological success indeed. Reports BBC. Business News. Bitcoin shed a fifth of its value on Saturday, as a combination of profit taking and macroeconomic concerns triggered nearly a billion dollars worth of selling across cryptocurrencies. Reports Reuters. Airtel, Vodafone Idea, Get Back Bank guarantees of 6,500 rupees crore from Department of Telecommunication. The amount is part of a relief package by the government. Reports New Indian Express. Weather News. According to India Meteorological Department, the cyclonic storm Jawad, pronounced as Jawad, over West Central Bay of Bengal continued to move nearly northwards on 04th December 2021, and about 210 kilometers east southeast of Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. It is likely to move nearly northwards during next 06 hours and then move northeastwards along Odisha coast, weaken gradually and reach near Puri around the 5th of December noon as a deep depression. Subsequently, it is likely to weaken further and continue to move northeastwards along Odisha coast towards West Bengal coast. Thank you. Please subscribe free to iIntelligence iNews to get more videos on important news. Also, like and share if you find our videos really updating, useful and informative. Please provide your valuable feedbacks through your comments. We will reply to your comments.